Hey everybody, we're going to be continuing our Monkey Island adventure with LeChuck's Revenge, Monkey Island Special Edition 2. So I think I've got the settings right, i got some subtitles turned on so you guys can see what's going on, and here we go. Well, 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 Guybrush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you can help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. <laughs> no. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. Alright, well, it looks like we're, uh... Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Guy Rush looks much different. Part 1. The Largo Embargo. Fair enough. Uh, press A for audio commentary. I don't know what that's all about, but... Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Okay, yeah, it's definitely, uh, very different compared to... Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This no. is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Uh, is this some sort of bribe situation? Sure, take my money, I don't want any trouble. Who's gonna make me, shorty? That's... Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! Uh... Please, not in my new coat! Maybe I should cut you one out of cement. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legrand. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Okay. Okay, here is the big premiere of I'm... Okay, so that's weird. If I press A, you can hear Tim Schafer talking. Uh, we're, we're not going to go through that at the moment. Let's, let's go this way. Okay, so we've got an island overview, much like the first game, only much prettier. Um, I'm not sure where to go yet, so... Hey, Peninsula. Oh. Well, let's start at the, this way and work our way around, I guess? I have no idea. The game looks a lot smoother overall, just not quite as old, let's put it that way. But Guidebrush just looks weird. Go to the houseboat. Look at houseboat. I'm not entirely sure how this control thingy works. Uh, I love a house with that nautical look. Can I go inside of it? Faster please? Okay. Uh. Hello? Dread. 
Hello, man. My name's Captain Drain. What can I do for you? Hmm, I need to charter a ship. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. Oh, I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's okay. no way he would let me leave. So that's the guy we gotta deal with, the one who stole all of our money. Navy dreads. Thanks, man. Okay, uh... Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. Wait. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Is this Monkey Island? No, it's not. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man. I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Besides, Largo has an embargo on the island. Largo and the embargo. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come Bye, again. Man. Thank you. Come again. Okay. Um. Hmm. Is there? I wish there was like a quick way to get to the map. Look at the sign. Okay. If I hold down the right click, I, I kind of get a little contact. Menu there. It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. Yeah, but he's not chartering anything, so... <sighs> okay, um... What are my other options? Cemetery! Just go in order. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. I like the music in here. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Green tongue fever. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. It looks like it's been sealed shut. But then again, why would I want to go in there? Alright. It's gonna take Stands a little bit to get used to these For graves that don't need to dress up. Can I open the tomb? It looks like it's been sealed shut. All right, well, the rickets. No trespassing. Uh. Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. <laughs> I like it. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. Okay, so if we had a key. The Quagmires. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. And then get over here. Oh wow, okay. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. <laughs> there once was a girl named Carrie who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. Oh jeez. <laughs> no man commanded Jean Louise. Not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. <laughs> so these are Here great. lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. <laughs> these are hilarious! Oh my god. Uh, back to the cemetery, I guess. So then there's just this one tomb left. Although, hold on, these tombstones. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. Future customers. Nice. The Grouts. No trespassing. Okay. Well, we know that the Largo guy has a tomb over here. Somewhere. So, that's probably part of it. Let's head to the swamp. Let's see what we can see. International House International of Mojo. House of Mojo. Uh, Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Wow. Okay, I'll say this is pretty cool. 
I like how everything is just a little bit more animated. Like, it's still kind of old schooly, but I like it. I like it a lot. Are we here? Okay, that's cool too. Display model. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. Well, I'll just take a little. Yoink, I got some string. Alright, um... I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. They're unlabeled. Uh, how about this? Skink toes. Skink toes. No thanks. I don't need it. And I feel bad for the skinks. Bat wax. No thanks. I don't need it. I don't even want to know what it's used for. Cat dewormer. Cat dewormer? No thanks. I don't need it. I don't have a cat. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, it's, is there a voodoo? Hey! Guy brush Threepwood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. How's business? Very good. <laughs> many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. How Tell me about this Largo, Largo guy. guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients? What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Sure, why not? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body Ew. and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Ew. Here, take the shopping list. A shopping list? Thanks. <laughs> now go. Well, this doesn't sound fun at all. Out we go. Row, row, row your coffin gently through the swamp. I like this. Okay, so that's the same voodoo lady from the last game. That's cool. The International House of Mojo. Uh, back to the... The map, I guess. So we got beach. I think I've gone to everywhere I can go on to. I'm probably... If, if I were to guess, I'm going to need a shovel. To go dig up some things. Okay. Wait. Welcome to Woodtip. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Thank you. <laughs> I just saw that as I walked by. It's like, wait a minute, that looks like a shovel. Okay, which one was his tomb again? I the Rickets. No nope. trespassing. Is he the... That's the quarantine tomb. These. Warning. Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Stands casual crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. Stands casual crosses. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. <laughs> this is hilarious. I love these. Okay. You. Marco Largo Legrand. Right. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is, he's dead. The bad news is, 
He bred. I like the interface. This is creepy feeling. <laughs> of course it starts storming. <laughs> I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. <laughs> nice. Did I get something? Uh, yeah, I got a bone. Gross. Thrifty Dig, for the treasure hunter on a budget. Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page 139, Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. It's so funny. Okay, let's move on. So at this point, um, wow. I don't know. Let's get back out to the uh, island map here. This is pretty good. I like this. Okay, so we've got something of the dead. We're going to need, what, body fluid, hair, and a piece of clothing. Oh boy. Let's head to the town anyways. Let's see what else we can do. We haven't gotten in any trouble there yet. Oh, Largo guy didn't come around. So that's probably good. <laughs> Bloody lip. Okay. Oh boy. What are you? Look at look at sign. You're a ship. Help wanted. One oh. week's salary in advance. Ooh. Inquire below. Well that sounds good. Well, Alright guys, in an effort to try and keep these videos to a nice size that makes them uh, watchable and great, uh, we're going to call it here. We'll be back with part two on the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.